Hey, what up? This is the Sanity from the Cisco's Mining Channel back with another video. Yeah, I'm making more, I'm more active doing more crypto mining related videos lately. Yeah, and also, uh, yeah, happy Lunar New Year. Yeah, to those who celebrate it. Sun Lin Fai Lao. Yeah, that's happy New Year in China, in Cantonese. All right, so in this video, I want to talk about some stuff I bought recently. I went on a crazy GPU uh, mini shopping spree lately. Yeah, use secondhand GPU. So let's take a look. Yeah, here it is. Um, these two days, I went on a mini GPU uh, shopping spree. Let's go through them one by one. And I also went on Taobao and bought this server case. We'll go into details later. And also some fans. All right, so first of all, this is a 1050 Ti single fan. Yeah, I got this for about 700 Hong Kong dollars, which is about, uh, what? 700 divided by 7.8, that's, around 90 bucks USD. Yeah, 89 bucks U USD. Um, 1050 Ti, Inno 3D, single fan. Uh, I use these 1050 Ti's to mine Ravencoin or Ergo, and I think I'm gonna start mining Flux. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Flux. So maybe switch some GPUs around. Yeah, I also got this one, Forza low profile card this one i got for really cheap because the guy said there's something wrong with it <laughs> he said like when he's playing games um the screen will go blank so i don't know how it is with mining so whatever it was cheap 500 hong kong dollars around 64 usd for that yeah all used man these are all second hand GPU prices did go down recently because of the yeah, crypto dip, I guess. So it's actually a good time to buy GPUs. And assuming we can mine for longer, I hope we can mine for longer. I hope Ethereum 2.0 is delayed. Anyways, okay, and then this one, MSI Aero. Uh, so 1660 Ti, yeah, upside down. Yep, I uh, actually first time, first time buying this GPU. I've never had this one before. Yeah, that one I got for how much? Two thousand four hundred eighty-eight Hong Kong dollars, which is about three hundred and eighteen. Around 320 USD for that. Yeah. And this one right here, MSI Fantas. Yeah, this one's very, this one we see a lot. I've got a bunch of those, I've got a bunch of them over there, actually, a few of them. Yeah. Yeah. This is, uh, yeah, another 1660 Ti. And I also got for about, uh, 2,500 Hong Kong dollars, which is around 220 USD for that. And now we go, yeah, further up the the specs. This guy right here, yeah. 3060 Ti, long time no see. Now this is non LHR, obviously. I don't, I don't have a single LHR GPU in my fleet. Okay, I've never purchased a single. Uh, LHR GPU, okay? I still haven't bought it. I'm still a LHR GPU virgin. This one, yeah, bought from some guy who is also a miner, but he said he's downsizing because um, his electricity bill was getting very high. And he said, yeah, and also the crypto price went down. So yeah, his loss is my gain, I guess. Uh, bought it for 7,500 Hong Kong dollars, which is around 960 USD. Yeah, 
3060 Ti, one of my favorite GPUs. Yeah, Galax, Chinese brand. Yeah, not those uh, big brands like Asus, Sotec, MSI, those guys. Lower tier, I guess, Galax. So it's Forza. Also, I think Forza is also a China or Hong Kong brand. I can't remember. And finally, yeah, this one, this guy we've seen before. I have this one. This was my first ever 3070 brand new GPU that I bought last year. I don't know if you guys follow my channel closely, you've seen this guy before. Now I bought another one. This this one is second hand, obviously, from the same dude who sold me the 3060 Ti. Yeah, this is a 3070, not an LHR, of course. This thing is massive. It's got triple fans, but quite narrow in terms of the yeah the height, the thickness. It's thick. It's very thick. But it's it's long GPU, three fans. Yeah, it's not bad. I like it. Yeah. So, and also bought some fans from Taobao because um, yeah, some of my GPU have broken fans. So I'm gonna replace them. Yeah, like this guy right here. One of the fins <laughs> came off. Yeah, I, I hit it by accident. This is a 1060 three gigabyte. Yeah, the only 1060 three gigabyte card that I have. I use it to mine Ergo as well. Maybe I'll switch it to switch it over to Flux maybe. Yeah, so I'm gonna fix some of the fans. I got some other GPU with broken fans. And finally, let's talk about this beast right here. This server case. Yeah, sorry, my room is too small. I can't put it uh, horizontally. So, another server case. I think this has uh, 1800 watt power supply. Yeah, came very neatly tied up. All the cables tied up. It's got fans on both ends. Yeah got the exhaust and the blowing flat fan and one cool thing is this one has a knob right here in the back I can actually control the fan speed I think it's got a fan speed controller right there the other rigs that I have don't have this function yeah this is first time yeah and these are very light okay I can pick this up with one hand see one hand yeah, very light. I really love these server cases. Yeah, these OG server cases are super heavy and you need to use risers. Yeah, this guy right here, my first rig. I mean, last year we didn't have these guys. When I started mining, these weren't available yet on Taobao. Yeah, and of course, open air rigs. I don't know. I, I think I'm, I I prefer server cases. I bought two of these, so I'm probably gonna yeah migrate some GPUs from this rig over here. I still have some rigs in my room, but a lot less now. Yeah, see, it's everything is empty right here. I've got a motherboard sitting there doing nothing, motherboard doing nothing, another motherboard doing nothing. Yeah, as I yeah transfer many GPUs to server cases, and I relocated my GPUs. Yeah, I've got two different locations, actually three different locations that I'm mining right now. Not including my bedroom. Still got these guys though. Yeah, thank God it's winter time. It's very cold in my room, 20 degrees. <laughs> Last year it was like 30 something, close to 40 at one point during the summertime. Yeah, very crazy. So yeah, maybe in the next video, I'll show you guys this server case in action with some of the GPUs in there. Yeah, these two 3060 Ti and and the 3070 is for my office mining uh, uh, gig. So yeah, not for myself. I do own a little bit, but these guys are for myself. These guys, these these cheaper ones, <laughs> are for myself. 
Yeah, guys, thanks for watching my videos, supporting this small little channel. It's growing very, very slowly because I don't make videos every day like some of the other very active crypto mining YouTubers. Yeah, those guys are like, they have like 50,000 subscribers, 100,000 subscribers. Yeah, I only have thousands or something, but it's fine. This is not my full-time thing and I'm doing a lot of other stuff as well. Yeah, I have a gaming channel. I'm into, yeah, metaverse, crypto, NFTs, all this other stuff, GameFi, DeFi, anyways. Yeah, so I've been, my first video was on February 6th, almost one year since I've been uh, uploading mining, crypto mining content. And I hope I can continue to do this. This will be my little hobby journey. And yeah, and I've been mining for over a year. I started mining back in, back on January 10th, I believe. Yeah, so all over a year. And I've already broken even, yeah. I. All my equipment's been broken even, basically. Yeah, in, in back in September. I've cashed out a lot of Ethereum when it was quite high as well. So yeah, I'm basically mining with only, the only cost is the electricity and well, I bought some new GPUs. That's some new cost incurred over there. But yeah, I've basically self running. I've been expanding the rigs from like, when I first started, I only had a few hundred I think when I first started, it was like a hundred something mega hash. I had like five, ten seventies. Yeah, hundred something mega hash. To now, I have a total of over four point something giga hash, including my office operation. Yeah, four point something giga hash in Ethereum. Yeah, so pretty crazy in, in one year. Yeah, I've done a lot of things. Yeah, went into crypto investing, trading, crypto, DeFi, yeah. A metaverse, investing on land, doing all sorts of stuff. Started a Facebook group about mining, Hong Kong crypto mining a community. Please join it. We've got like a 900 something members already. Um, I've done two physical events. Yeah, I met a lot of people from Hong Kong who are into crypto and crypto mining yeah and I've also been able to source GPUs sell GPUs yeah make some money selling GPUs yeah so it's been a great journey crypto mining and yeah crypto it's been awesome really awesome I love it this year has basically changed my life yeah yeah so hope crypto continues to develop become like the mainstream and the prices goes back up again, please. <laughs> and yeah, crypto and crypto mining. Yeah, God bless. Yeah, I love it. And hope I can continue to do this. All right. So thank you so much for your support. Happy Chinese New Year. Um, please follow my channel, subscribe my channel, give this video a thumbs up, check out my affiliate links down there. Yeah. Binance, uh, Coinbase, I'm sure a lot of people already signed up to those. There's a Solana wallet, you can check out, use my link. And if you want, if you're looking for 170HX, CMP 170HX, follow me on Instagram, Sysbros, C-I-S-B-O-R-S, on, Sys, on Sysbros, and yeah, I can sell it to you. Wow, we have some in stock. Yeah, not much left. So, but we get shipments every month. All right. Thanks for watching and keep mining. Have a great, wonderful year of the tiger. Raw.